Number 8. Starting with this error penny. 1972 Memorial Cent struck over 1971 Cent. Graded in Mint State 62 Brown by PCGS. The foddy lettering Liberty of Undertype is visible on obverse side, while on the reverse no magnifying glass is required to spot the traces of slanting memorial and shadowy letterings of United States of America and E Pluribus Unum from Undertype. This MS 62 cent fetched a sum of $1,560 at auction. Number 7. Here is 1947 Washington Quarter in MS 67 plus condition. CAC proven excellent gem with slight iridescence toning around the borders. According to NGC, with the end of massive wartime contracts, economic activity declined throughout the nation during 1946-49, and this trend is evident from falling mintage figures. Fewer than half the number of quarters were coined at the Philadelphia Mint this year as opposed to 1946. The 1947 P is certainly no rarity, and a large number of gems have been certified through MS67 but anything grading higher is considered scarce. This plus designated specimen was sold for $1,740. Number 6. This is 1943-42 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. According to Coin World, though it is a known die variety, and has been for many years, it has only ever been recognized for its die doubling. It is currently listed as such in the Cherry Picker's Guide by Bill Fivas and the late J.T. Stanton, Variety FS 101-019.5, among the 1943s Lincoln Sense. The misalignment of the designs between the 1942 dated hub and the 1943 dated hub pivots around a spot on the left obverse rim. Because of this swing, the coin shows only trivial doubling on the word liberty close to the pivot point, but some fairly strong doubling almost due north and south at the base of the one. There is similar doubling under the top curve of the 9 and along the right side the leg of the 9. This error penny ended up selling for $2,040. Number 5. This is 1948's Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. The San Francisco Mint returned to wartime production numbers for the quarter dollar in 1948, though this would lead to none being coined there at all the following year. Like all S Mint coins, this issue was widely saved by collectors and speculators. Thousands of Mint State pieces survive, and the certified population is strong through MS66. This MS67 plus graded specimen sold for $1,920. Number 4. This is 1925's California Half Dollar in Mint State 67. In mid-1920s well-renowned sculptor Joe Mora was asked to design a coin that would help capture the spirit of the state's diamond jubilee. He employed two symbolic motifs, a gold rush prospector for the obverse and a grizzly bear on the reverse. An interesting touch that Mora made was to ensure that the fields of the coin remained unpolished, leaving the boldly textured surface just as it was on the sculptor's model. The Congressional Act authorizing the coin specified a maximum mintage of 300,000 pieces yet only 150,000 coins were actually struck and released. In the end, 63,606 pieces remained unsold, and were eventually melted, leaving a net mintage of 86,394. It remains a very popular issue to this day. This specimen was sold for $2,280. Number 3. This is 1968's Lincoln cent struck on a 1965 Roosevelt dime. Highly elusive double denomination coin. Graded as PR62 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, this is an obvious overstrike or so-called double denomination error, showing a full outline of the Roosevelt dime portrait on the obverse around Lincoln, rotated 180 degrees. Significant undertype is also visible on the reverse. Each side is brilliant and deeply mirrored, showing only minimal handling marks to limit the numeric grade. It was sold for $3,840. Number 2. Here is 1935's Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. This San Francisco issue is available in full red condition, but such coins are rarely offered in MS67. The present coin displays satiny copper orange luster and exceptional preservation. Each side is entirely devoid of carbon spotting. It was sold for $6,000. Number 3. This is 1914 Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. According to Stax Bowers, this is a truly splendid gem in all regards, both sides sharply struck with a softly frosted, 
reddish-orange appearance that is fully deserving of the coveted RD designation from PCGS. Although readily obtainable in an absolute sense, mint state 1914 cents are scarce compared to those of other early Philadelphia mint Lincoln issues, especially at the finest levels of the full red category. It was sold for $31,200. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found this information helpful. If you did, then please consider hitting like and subscribe buttons below. Stay well and see you in the next episode.